While lead code has become the unofficial standard for testing coding skills, many first time lead coders find it daunting to go through more than 2,500 problems on the platform. For that reason, in this video, I will share an effective strategy for preparing for lead code. I broke the strategy into six steps to help you build a strong foundation in coding interview skills as quickly as possible. If you're one of those guys intimidated by the sheer number of questions, unsure where to start, and unconfident of pulling this off yourself, watch this video until the end because you'll walk away with a clear game plan. Step one, start with the top 100 like questions. These are the questions upvoted by the community, other lead coders, and not selected by the platform. A question is upvoted if the community finds it clear, helpful, and practical. On the other hand, a problem is heavily downvoted if it's unclear, has too many tedious edge cases, or doesn't involve the general concepts of data structures and algorithms. You want to avoid those types of problems in the early stage because your initial focus should be on learning how to play the game instead of battling a boss. Clear and straightforward DSA-based questions can help you achieve that. Start with about 50 easy and medium questions here. Avoid hard for now. Learn to play the game first. Step two, focus on the questions by topic. Never solve random questions. Now that you have a taste of lead code, it's time to choose a topic and start drilling down. As you crack questions from the same topic, you'll realize there is a pattern. Realizing that pattern is the algorithm, the template, and the winning formula for mastering lead code. Once the idea clicks, you can use it to solve most of the problems in the same topic. Just remember, the more you solve random problems, the longer it'll take for you to get that click. Solve at least 20 questions or until you get that click for each topic before moving on. Here's my recommended list of topics to get you started. For more help with data structures and algorithms, check out my recommended courses and books in the descriptions below. Step three, order the questions from the highest to lowest acceptance rate. Don't just blindly attempt easies. Some mediums are easier than easies, and some easies are harder than mediums. This is because the lead code difficulty level is subjective. The platform determines it. On the other hand, the acceptance rate is objective as it's community driven. Take a look at yourself. The acceptance rate of some easies is lower than 50%, while that of some mediums is higher than even 90%. Leverage the stats. If others found it easier, you'll find it easier too. Step four, learn from the solutions. Don't spend more than 45 minutes on each problem. If you're stuck, look up the answer and move on. But promise me this, learn from the solutions. Like I said earlier, if you grind the problems on the same topic, you'll start to see the pattern and develop the technique needed to solve it. And guess what? The best place for that is none other than the solutions. Peeking at the solutions is the fastest way to learn from the experts. Don't feel guilty about it. It's okay as long as you learn from them. If you prefer more professional and structured help from industry pros, try Pathrise. Pathrise is a career accelerator that helps individuals find jobs through one-on-one -on -one mentorship, personalized coaching, and workshops. I used to work there as a mentor myself, and the first two weeks are free. Step five, revisit the problems. If you looked up the solution, you probably can't solve it a week later. Make sure to revisit the problem until you are confident 100%. Step six, solve company-specific questions. When you're ready for the challenge, it's finally time to take on the companies. You need the code premium for this, but you can filter the problems by specific companies. You can even sort them by their frequency in a select time period. There's no guarantee that these problems will show up in your interview, but I can tell you from my experience that the list is pretty accurate. That's it guys, these are my six steps on how to use LeetCode effectively. This is how I grinded LeetCode, and it's how I would do it if I were to do it again. Check out the descriptions below for more coding related resources. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.